lovelies welcome back to my channel and welcome to a cozy home vlog i am so excited for today's video because i just wanted to film a nice home vlog i have some diy things that i want to do and i know you guys love it when i do diys it's just so nice and like personal i feel like i've always been a fan of diys ever since i was little so i thought we could do some today because i really need to organize the kitchen i've got some cleaning bits that i want to organize i've got a cup that i want to diy so i thought we could just have a nice home vlog and i can share with you guys some diys as well i'm so excited to say that this video is partly sponsored by cricket and i actually cannot believe i'm so Saying that because I have wanted a cricket for years like absolute years but I always thought that you had to be a professional to own one but oh my god like my life has changed so much since owning one like it's just amazing so I thought I could share with you guys how to use the Cricut Maker 3 it's incredible it is their latest machine and it is game changing the amount of stuff that you can create in the comfort of your own home or wherever you want to go you can take it it's really easy to take away anywhere it's just insane like i feel like it's just endless it's amazing but for today's video especially i wanted to do some diys for the kitchen just to organize all my stuff and make everything look really neat and organized because who doesn't love an organized home i also wanted to finish my beauty room today and um, like completely finish it and then me and bradley need to build the desk when he's back home later Although I've just realised we're going to his parents, so I don't know when we're going to build it. But to be fair, it doesn't need like proper building. We literally took the top bit off, so we might have to just put it on when it, like as soon as he gets home. And then later on, I can just sort of display the computer there. So yeah, I think we'll do that because it'll be too late to drill when we come home later. Like way too late. I've also done my hair a bit differently and I'm not sure if I like it. Like, I feel like I feel really different. I've done my part into the side and then I put a roller in this bit of hair. But I feel like... It's just not really cooperating. Like, I don't really know what it wants to do, but we're just going with it. So, but anyway, I think first off, we need to make a drink, of course, to have energy. And then I can start showing you guys some DIY projects that I want to work on with you guys today and also some that I have already done, which is really exciting. This is my outfit of the day. Really simple, cosy leggings. And then I've got a little cami underneath and then a cosy cardi, which I've like half done up because it is quite chilly today. The weather is... <laughs> very grey there are no blue skies out which is really sad i was like praying because usually the sun rises on that side of the house and then by the afternoon you can see the sun over here so i was thinking oh my god this afternoon it might get sunny but looking at it outside it's just a grey sky so hopefully it does get a little bit sunny but it's fine if not i mean this is england after all i feel like i need to move to like florida or something <laughs> <laughs> and then I can have just constant nice weather. You guys know I do love my seasons. Me and Bradley were even talking the other day and I just love like proper English weather, like a proper autumn's day, a winter's day, a summer's day, and then a spring day. I don't like the in-between, but I love seasons and when the days are like properly cooperating, you know? <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited to have a nice day with you and do some DIY. If you haven't seen my previous video, I basically done a majority of this room. So I took the prints out of here. We've got a new mirror. There's another new mirror here. And my gym shoes are there. And we're making it a lot more plain. If you've watched my previous vlogs, and I know I keep saying, if you've seen my previous vlog, but, but they obviously go together because I talk about things. But recently from the garden center, I picked this up for the dogs. And it's like a suction mat and you can put things like peanut butter and dog treats and stuff like that in this suction it to the floor and apparently it's just really good for their brains because it takes them ages to eat and they have to like figure out how to get things and stuff like that so when i went to tesco's this morning look how cute i found peanut butter for dogs and i thought we could try it together because this is just so cute and then i was thinking are the ingredients exactly the same as normal peanut butter like does anyone, because it smells exactly the same, but this is literally 97.5% of peanuts and then palm oil. So maybe it is the same. Maybe I don't need to buy dog peanut butter, but you know, I want it to be safe. So we've got dog peanut butter. Right, let's do this. So I'm gonna get it on the spoon this way. So it's easy to spread. Let's do one that side and then one this side 
Should we do them in here? Maybe a little bit. Let's do a couple. Okay. I've done it. Let's put it on the floor and see what they like. So, wait. Luna, sit. Wait. Good girl, wait. And then I'm going to suction it. Uh-uh. Wait. Good girl. Sit. Good girl. Wait. Wait. Come in. Let's see if they like it. Oh my god, they do. Wait, Lottie, are you not a fan? You go to that one and then Lottie go to that one. Yay! Oh, they like it. Are you happy? <laughs> oh, look. That is so cute in that little bowl thing. But I bought this bowl from, or well, the plate bowly thing, our local garden centre. So, yeah, but I'm sure they sell it on Amazon. So, if I can try and find the same one, um, I'll link it down below for you guys. But yeah, just thought it's a cute little thing for dogs. So these are the items that I've bought so I can personalise. Honestly, I have been itching to do all of them, but obviously I need to wait for this video. So I've done one, which obviously says rice, um, and I'm going to fill this one up with rice. It is so much fun to do. So I bought some jars. These three were from TK Maxx, but I have seen on Amazon they have ones identical. So I'll pop links to whatever I can find in the description box down below. I've got a clear cup, which I thought would be really nice to personalise. I've got a clear phone case, which I thought would be really fun. This is actually like a pancake bottle. So you put your pancake mix in here and it's really easy just to like put the pancake mixture into the pan or mold I bought both of these from Tesco's but I thought I could peel this off and then personalize it with like pancake mixture which I thought would be cute and then over here we've just got some spray bottles for cleaning so I'm so excited to get started and just finish it all because it is so much fun to do. Honestly, any time I've ever done personalised things that like you would have seen in, I think it was one of my autumn vlogs last year, I bought some like personalised things online to make a really nice mug and stuff like that all personalised because I thought I couldn't do it in the comfort of my own home. I thought it was like for professionals. But the fact that I can now personalise anything or create anything that I want is just amazing i'm so happy so of course i'm going to pop a link down below to cricket and i'm going to show you the machine now because i cannot wait to show you how to use it and what i'm going to create today so this is the cricket maker 3 and i'm sure you guys know that cricket have so many incredible devices or machines this is the one that i thought is the most versatile because of the amount of stuff that you can create with it today i'm going to show you how to use the smart vinyl which is perfect for personalizing things like cups and jars and anything like that but you can literally cut through so many materials with this it is crazy you can use it to engrave anything if you wanted to you can make amazing sculptures i mean look how insane this is like the possibilities with this machine are endless it is just insane i hope i can share with you guys in more videos all the incredible stuff that you can do but in this video i just wanted to focus on personalizing with their smart vinyl because before i knew i could do it in the comfort of my own home i used to just buy that online but now i'm just so happy because i can have it exactly how i want it it's the exact size and everything how i want it and it's just that there's something even more enjoyable about just doing it at home and personalizing your own things so i'm just so happy to do this i love how with the cricket you can also take it anywhere and you can use it anywhere it's literally just this device and a plug and that is it and then you can use either your laptop to connect to it or your phone if you don't know the app and it's that simple and then just bring any materials that you want if you're really into diy and you're looking for something that's really easy and simple to use the cricut maker free is literally for you so obviously you guys know that i done my rice jar and i was so tempted to do everything else but i obviously wanted to wait for this video just to show you guys how simple and easy it is to do and you can also get materials if you want to iron on anything so if you're looking to personalize your clothes or iron on any initials like Bradley was saying to me that he wants me to iron his initials on his football stuff and I was like yeah I can do that I've got it all here and it literally takes seconds to set it all up so what I'm going to do is open the Cricut app and then once you've opened it the instructions are so simple and easy to do all you do is connect it to this via bluetooth and if you don't have that they do have a cable that you can connect it straight into your laptop or anything like that i'm gonna just use my phone because if i want something really quick it is really simple to do so they have so many different categories that you can choose from but i'm gonna go with the kitchen jars to start off with so the first thing i'm gonna do is pick my font 
I went for Baskerville, Baskerville, I think that's how you say it. And then I'm just gonna tie spaghetti and then I'll just move that up there. And then another text. Let's do coffee. So I'm just gonna do the jars first, just so I can show you, I'm gonna do it in sections. So with the coffee, you can actually add any shapes that you want. So if you wanted a heart, you can add a heart, but I'm actually just gonna press images here. And if there's any images that you can think of, and then some of them are free, so like coffee beans, if I press insert, I can adjust the size. And then I've got like little coffee beans on top of those ones, which I think are really cute. You can also, if you're not very good at personalising it yourself, as you can see, I've written things like pasta label. So they actually have labels that you can purchase for 89p. And there's one that I found yesterday and I loved it. Let me show you. It's this one. I love how simple that is, but it looks so lovely. So yeah, I love that one, but I think I'm gonna keep it all the same, but I'm thinking of doing the cleaning products in that theme. I feel like that'll look really lovely. And then once you've just sort of designed what you want, I also love how I can put my phone or iPad on here. So it's really easy for me to see everything. I also have this, which makes it really easy for me to measure any vinyl that I have or paper or anything like that. And then you can also slide it through and then cut it if you want to as well. So I'm gonna do without the Cricut mat and then you wanna press Smart Vinyl. So your phone literally says exactly what you need to do step by step, which makes it so much easier. So I'm making sure that I've got all of these. So I've got the fine point in here, which would be nothing in there. And then it's telling me to press this button here. So it's just checking the length of it. And then all you do is press go. <laughs> everyone so it's now the next day when I was filming yesterday it got to about like 1 p.m and it was so dark outside that everything that I was filming I it was just the lighting just wasn't on point so I thought you know what I'm just gonna pause it there and then carry on this video today as well and then I can show you guys me sticking the vinyl and stuff on just come inside it's windy today yeah I can show you me sticking the vinyl on which I've got already and obviously like the end result I also want to fill the jars up and the bottles and stuff as well so you guys can get the full experience so I think we should do that and I'm so excited so just to show you guys where I'm at so I have put the transfer on so it's easy for me just to stick on obviously this is the one that I've done previously just to show you guys how easy it is but I thought the next fun part is obviously to stick it all on so I thought we could do it together obviously some of them you can't really see but obviously when they're on it'll be really different things like pancake mix to go on there and um, I thought we could do like a Valentine's Day phone case or something so cute little love hearts this is my tester bottle for my spray um, and also it says antibacterial I love it literally love it so much and I thought we could do all of them and then just finalize everything so yeah nobody told me to settle down day nights and late nights don't get around but there's something about you something about you I like about you I like you're crazy for saying I should slow down but 
so I've just filled all of the jars and stuff up oh my god do you want to see it ah! so starting from over here obviously I've put spaghetti in here um, we've got rice and then coffee I love the little coffee beans I think these look so cute obviously I'm going to put these in my cupboard and it just keeps everything really organized this I really wasn't sure how it was going to turn out and I love it I cannot wait to have an iced coffee in here I was going to make it valentine's day themed but because I've got really cute love hearts on my case I put it on the inside so it basically can't come off but then it's really easy if you want to just change it up every now and then so this is obviously for valentine's day and then every like theme or if I want to change it up I can just take the case off and then sort of like take the stickers off in a way and then start again but I feel like it looks really cute and seamless this is the pancake mix as you can see um, and this is obviously really cute and valentine's day themed um, so I really like them too and then over here I've got my cleaning bottles which I am obsessed with so I've obviously got Zaflora, soap, comfort and then antibacterial um, so I've got all of them here but yeah I literally love them all so much they were so simple and easy to do. Let me know in the comments down below what your favourite thing was. Of course, I'm going to pop a link to Cricut in the description box down below. Again, thank you so much Cricut for partly sponsoring today's video. I'll pop all my links and everything down below if you guys wanted to pick it up yourself. It's such an amazing device to have and use in the comfort of your own home. I love how versatile it is. Like I said in like future videos, I really want to make as many incredible things with Cricut because they have so many incredible devices and it's just incredible but yeah I'm so happy I feel really organized and fresh I want to do this in every single room in my house now which I can do but yeah thank you so much for working with me and like I said all the links will be down below so my lovelies it is now the next day um I need to get ready for the day and straighten my hair but i thought while it's still a bit light outside i'll show you guys my beauty room and the bedroom because i said to you guys that i'm going to show you they're basically completely finished which i'm so excited about um, and it's just been so nice having extra space and it's exactly how i wanted it so yeah i thought i could share with you i've also got my cousin coming around today which i'm really excited about so yeah, I need to get ready for that in a minute, but I thought I could show you guys the beauty room and our bedroom first. So this is now at the top of the stairs in the little landing bit. So I popped this mirror over here um, and this was the one that was actually in my beauty room but I thought it looks quite nice like as you're going up the stairs you can check your outfit and stuff like that. It's just one of those things that's actually really nice to have. So yeah, that is there and then we've got the other mirror up there and then I moved the print that was up there over there if that makes sense and then of course we've just got a little ottoman thing the Tom Ford book and then some pampas and then in here is the beauty room so as you can see this area is looking a lot more simple and then over here is the area that I've been so excited about but I think I'm going to order a floor lamp that I've seen from the range to go in the corner because obviously I could get an extension need and then plug it in the plug and then sort of put it around it um, and then this could go behind but I feel like it'll make this area feel bigger and cozier if there was like a big floor lamp so I think I'm gonna buy that one which I've seen from the range which is on sale at the moment so yeah I think I'm gonna do that because I think it will transform this area of course we've still got my storage bits over here and then the frame here is from Ikea and then I lifted the print up finally which I've been saying in vlogs I was gonna do forever so the desk is officially gone under here is actually organized mess it's stuff that I need to film for reels um I think it's all from Zara and H&M so I need to film with that soon and a little sneak peek of a new bag which I'm going to share with you guys in a video really soon as well then over here is my dressing table which you guys have seen a million times my lovely new mirrors this mirror I love well, I love both of them but I love how different this is um, and as soon as Bradley saw it, he walked in here and was like, oh my God, I love that mirror. I was like, oh, thanks. He goes, I love how it looks just like a potato. I was like, oh, thanks for that, hun. Really appreciate that. I love my new potato mirror. <laughs> but I do get what he means, but I like it. Um, and then I've got my arch mirror here, which is, well, both of them are from William Wood Mirrors. 
this is the biggest arch one you can get and i remember when it came i was thinking oh my god it is so big but now obviously it's been here for a while i've got used to it i'm so happy i went for the bigger size like honestly i adore it everywhere is basically full of pampas and then over here the difference is obviously that i've got rid of the prints so i took them all out and it's just made it more of a neutral place there's not too much going on so yeah i'm really happy with how it's looking in here obviously when the stuff under here is gone it will look 10 times better and then when my lamp is here as well it'll look amazing so hopefully i can show you guys that in a few vlogs time and then walking over here i've just added these two which are both from primark home i think they look really cute um, and they just add a little bit of something and then in here is the wardrobe room to be honest with you i feel like we don't really utilize the space very well we've got a little day bed here and some hats but we really want to get like a like a u-shaped wardrobe or something i feel like that would look really nice and then over here that's my old mirror but i just don't want to give it away because of how good the lighting is i might give it away at some point but for now i just love it um, and then my auntie is actually having this mirror and then this is my clothes rail and then as we come up the stairs okay well done to Bradley he actually made the bed today which is good but this is the bedroom and then we put the desk in this corner and then Bradley actually solved the chair and um, it just fits in really nicely in the corner we were even saying if we just got a normal desk I think it would have taken up too much space like I love how it's just the corner one and um, it fits in really well and there's still a bit of space this side as well so yeah that is what the bedroom is looking like at the moment anyway i am gonna get ready for the day because my cousin is coming around which i'm so excited about um and then i will chat to you guys in a little bit what i'm now gonna do is go upstairs and do some more organizing in my wardrobe room just because i've got some clothes that i need to put away nothing major um, and then my cousin is actually staying the night which is exciting so i'm gonna put the day bed up um, and make it all cute and cozy for her as well so lots more organizing to do end the video here i really hope you guys have enjoyed today's video please do give it a big thumbs up if you have subscribe if you are new to my channel like i said i'll put all the links sorry the doggies are over here but like i said i'll put all the links to Cricut in the description box down below in case you guys want to check it out it's an incredible diy machine and like i said they honestly have so many varieties of things that you can choose from and i love how it's just easy to take anywhere with me as well but yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next one bye we were so young then.